so what happens when people stop spreading the gospel? What happens when Christians, say that you know loosely, start turning on each other and start to, to betray one another and love starts to die out and people will just begin to not trust each other and look what he says many false prophets will begin to appear and deceive many people if you preach a certain message you're, it's considered hate speech there are certain topics and certain people groups that are off you can't you can't say that that's wrong just saying that they're wrong can get you not only canceled but can get you a visit by the government at your door and sin will be rampant everywhere and the love of many will grow cold. What does deception look like in real time? You wanna know what it looks like in real time? Illegal immigration is called asylum seeking. Abortion is called women's health care. Pedophilia is called minor attracted individuals. Socialism is called redistribution of wealth. Men are called women and women are called men. Pregnancy is called birthing people. Transgenderism is accepted and cisgenderism, meaning straight heterosexuality, is to be ridiculed and shunned. Tolerance was once acceptance, but now it's mandatorily, mandatory celebration and approval. Cohabitation with two dogs and a cat is replacing the family unit of marriage and children. What is good is called evil and what is evil is called good. The sweet is exchanged for the bitter and, the, and is still called sweet. And if you say otherwise, you're to be canceled, attacked by family, employers, community, online, and even by the government. Politics, education, family, and even the church have been taken over by the great deception of secular humanism masquerading as godliness. We're seeing a great rebellion against everything that is godly. Everything that is good, everything that is wholesome, everything that is moral is now called evil. It's now called bad. And everything that is bad, it's all called good. Everything is upside down. That is the spirit of this lawless one that Paul is referring to. He's saying, hey, there's going to come a day where there's going to be a guy that steps on the scene and that person will be so, so evil, so wicked, so demented. And he's going to just turn everything, he's going to destroy everything that you once knew as good. But that's already starting now. Man, it's time for, a, listen, it's time for a mental, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual change of gears. It's time for us to refocus on the eternal because this is going to all be done away with soon. Guys, globe, we just looked, I showed you the video this morning of the World Economic Forum. They want us to own nothing. They want a global socialist system. And they're working very hard to make that a reality. So the, Jesus said, the life you're trying to hold on to, it's going to be done away with no matter what. You're going to lose it. So why are you holding on to something that's not yours? You should be exchange, we should be exchanging this life for the life that Jesus has for us. That's the goal. Amen?